the ocean. Swimming, swimming. It's the end of the week, but the start of a new month. It's Friday, May 1st, 2009, and Channel One News starts right now. First five was with a crashing wave. She was born. More than 100 schools across the country have been shut down either because of swine flu cases or just to be safe. And I'm sure you've probably heard of St. Francis Prep. It was the first and largest outbreak with at least 44 cases connected back to the school. Today, Justin Finch, here's the story firsthand. Early last week, James Bredos and Sophia Gumako started feeling a little under the weather. I got sick on Tuesday night, which was actually earlier than most people. They started getting sick like Thursday or Friday. So I just thought it was regular flu. I had uh, flu-like symptoms. I felt um, like dizzy at times. James's symptoms got worse. I came home and uh, I just went to sleep. The next morning I woke up and I was just, my chest was all tight. They weren't alone. More than 200 students and 10 teachers at their New York school, St. Francis Prep, began complaining they felt sick. On Friday they started talking on the news, like it might be swine or whatever. But um, I wasn't really sure yet what, like, if that's what I had or anything. Sophia did test positive for swine flu, but by that point, she says, she started feeling better. Meanwhile, St. Francis became among the first spots in the country to report a swine flu outbreak. Back around Easter, James says a small group of seniors made a trip that wasn't sponsored by their school to Mexico where a swine flu is believed to have come from. Any idea where this swine flu came from and how it got to your school? Um, well, if most of it is in Mexico, I'm going to assume that, like, the students who had gone there might have brought something back, like, you know, on their clothing, just like anything. So, probably that. Yeah, I know you didn't go to Mexico. But I was in Italy. And did you go? No, I was here. But soon after the group got back to school, Sophia says she started feeling ill. So were your friends, like, looking a bit sicker or not themselves? Or I don't know anybody who actually went to Mexico and is sick. It seems like the people here are sick, not the ones that went away. St. Francis closed for cleanup and sterilization last Monday and to keep infections down. Class is set to resume on Monday. Doctors already told Sophia to take this week off. But James has to undergo more testing to pinpoint the cause of his symptoms before he can go back to school. During the interview, I was surprised by how calm James and Sophia were, despite being caught in the middle of a worldwide flu outbreak. So I had to ask, what would you tell those teenagers out there who are worried about swine flu? I would just say, you know, wash your hands if you're really scared. Like, try and avoid people who have the flu. But, um... There's no reason to panic over it. I mean, everybody so far has been fine. You just let it run its course and it'll be fine. We switch gears with the weekend wrap after the break. Moonlight, riding on a falling star. They were all alone. The music you're hearing in today's show is by Keaton Simons. Head to channel1.com and check out the music video, artist photos, and listen to more great music. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you like to have my seat? A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Want to know before everyone else about the hottest new artists breaking onto the music scene? Channel One News has teamed up with leading record labels to bring you music from the best up-and-coming talent. You get first access to songs from exciting emerging singers and bands who feature great new music throughout each show. And visit ChannelOne.com to listen to more just-released tracks, read about your favorite music artists, view photos, and catch a sneak peek at the latest videos. Don't miss out. Hear it now on Channel One News. Underneath everything we are, we are all people. And when we reach out a hand to one, we can influence the condition of all. That's what it means to live united.